getting back to the camera, so that's a good sign. It means you're not ugly. Oh. If you were ugly. Oh, I was wondering, I was like, I have a camera. <laughs> It's Will from Jones Hay and Cattle. Hope everyone's doing all right. Today we hauled some hay. There's my helper. We hauled some hay today. Uh, I hauled 10 bales for my dad. And then I hauled 14 bales up to Flatonia. And while I was in the field, uh, another guy came and he picked up 14 bales himself. So anyhow, we got the hay all dropped off. It was uh, way back in the back, but he gave good directions. So it all went smooth. But uh, anyhow, wanted to show you what we've been up to today. The drive ended up being a little bit longer than expected. I, uh, I plan on hauling this hay up here first and then getting my son but they uh the school he goes to they let him out early today so i like to try them locks make sure they're good but anyhow uh it all worked out all right got up here it was about 20 minutes 20 miles out of my way to get my son first but uh but it was all right it wasn't bad i'm gonna, I'm gonna come back check the tires make sure everything looks good everything looks bueno brakes lights both work but yeah uh since school got out early, I ended up having to go pick him up. And uh, I got there in time. I got him. And then I just let him go with me to haul this load. So, but she likes that kind of stuff anyway, so it all worked out good. I'll prove it to you. So, were you glad to haul hay with me today? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. Okay. So, anyhow, either he's uh, enjoying himself or he's a good liar. So,
back up to the hay field. You see there, I'm still working on this bridge. This thing is near my entrance. Hopefully they get it done sooner than later, but if not this year, at least it'll be ready by next year, I'm sure. What makes it so hard is where my entryway is right here. Uh, I don't see a traffic light. So it's really kind of hard for me to figure out whether I can go or not or or uh, the traffic light on one end of the road is uh, around the curves you can't even see it now so when I come out of here with my load I try to have some speed built up so I can go up that hill a little easier I mean I can go from a dead standstill to uh, up the, up the hill is not a problem it's just easier when you have momentum on your side but look like you got some rain while ago a little bit of water on the roads So over there you got the low boy and over here you got the four bell trailer with the spare tire over there by the jack be careful we get back there there's diesel in that bed uh-uh you got the forklift attachment the hay spike that goes in the back of the tractor Got the cutter, it's a Crone 320. It's 3.2 meters wide, which is a little over 10 feet. Then you got the 2750. And there's the tether. Tell it's been put to work. All right, there's Mark with the new toy. See how I took those rows that are out there and it fluffed it and scattered it out. And then there's the baler, the 569. The 569. Show what's going on over here. On the 569, I had a bearing go out on it. carrier bearing so anytime you uh, would bail with this when the bells are getting bigger you hear a little bit of squeaking wasn't quite sure what it was and uh, I wasn't sure what bearing it would be there's quite a few on this thing so a while back Mark was out here bailing and the chain had popped off this sprocket 
this chain was sitting up here against this it just rubbed it against it and it was trying to start a fire but mark was keeping an eye out and he stopped and he was able to put it out and came back to put it back on and when i did that i started pushing down on this chain right here and when i did this whole thing kind of flexed a little bit that's when i realized something ain't right so i took this bolt out and this bolt out and when I, when I pulled this big sprocket off i could see behind there this carrier bearing right here was shot and so i have a little bit of footage i'll show y'all what happened there because that went out so anyhow we went and got the new one it is right here we gotta put it on take all this off take all that off put that one back on and uh hopefully i can push this down if not i might have to wait till i get the tractor back over here and uh, use the hydraulics to pick up the back of the baler and that way it'll relieve the tension on the uh, belts because right now it's getting pulled up because of the, uh, the baler's closed so there's tension on all these belts and like these belts are here they're picking it up and you can see how it looks so anyhow yeah, we'll get that put back on and then it should be good to go coupling on and then I put the rear pulley on put it back make sure it kept all the washers where they're supposed to be put it back on put this one back on put the small chain on put the big chain on or the medium chain then I put this on it's tight but not too tight this will be the next chain I gotta replace the big one it's pretty much maxed out I don't know if you can see it up there but that little all thread bolt it's sucked up all the way so once you get a new chain it'll kind of draw back like that you don't have to use so much of your bolt to keep the tension on it and i think there's a there's either a master link or a half link that's catching a little bit but it's all right it'll get us through the rest of this season but anyhow we turn it on it sounded really good i used the old uh 2750 of course, I know it's too small to bail with, but um, she did good. She picked it up all right, ran it. She cranked right up. Now we're back to put, we put it back together. Mark ran it. He said it ran good, no squeaks. Um, ever since ever since I've had this baler, this hose right here, it leaked a little bit right here where it's crimped. It would come down, it always leaked down, and it was always a, a nuisance. So while I was doing all that. We had a hose made. It goes in here, through there, up to uh, this is it right here. It goes up, back to back in here. So, anyhow, we got all that fixed. No more leaks. Baylor's running good now. Knock on wood. Pull this pin here. Here's the mammoth that we're unhooking from. And then here's the 40 foot I have. She's hell for stout. You getting it? Yeah, I think so. How many holes you put down on it? Oh Lord have mercy. Crank it all the way back the other way. No, that's okay. I'll show you. So, can I show you something? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to choose. You had the right idea about putting your foot on there. What you'll do is, and you don't have to do it right. You can just pull this out, turn it sideways. Now you can push it down. I know, like when I do it, you push it all the way down, you can have four holes showing. See how there's four holes showing? Yeah. Now 
photograph shows it forced the hole pin like that and then slowly let it up now it's locked now you can jack it back down leave all this in there be careful some of that has grease on it yeah you found it just rub it on the rack somewhere like in the middle there you go helps it will help the hay slide on faster <laughs> just got this tank the hose that came with it was about as long as it would you go from here to about there and that was about it so i traded in got a bigger hose and I thought maybe that's what my leak was. That hose had a small hole, but it's not. It's somewhere in the tank itself. I'm gonna have to just uh, take the tank out and then uh, set it somewhere and just kind of go over it down or look for a new one. side and fill the truck up. Got it? No. Just in case people are wondering, you can see it. It's not red diesel. So, I want to reassure everyone that I'm not doing anything illegal. Because there are people that do that, but not me. Well, we got everything done that we want to get done today. Got some food, medicine, went home got the kids situated now we're on our way up to the school to watch uh emma play in the band so we're looking forward to that <laughs> clayton you excited yes sir <laughs> emma liam are y'all ready yes yep. sir good so anyhow we're gonna wrap this up glad you uh followed along hope you enjoyed the video and we'll talk to you later